They say the sun never sets on Walter Reed, and, and that is certainly true. The Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, or, or just Walter Reed, operates around the world, conducting research, fighting disease, uh, building partnerships with local governments, militaries, and civilian populations. Specifically, Walter Reed works to build local capacity through collaboration, improving healthcare services through the communities in which we operate. Walter Reed has been operating in Tanzania since 1999, uh, working to end HIV through research and the implementation of PEPFAR, prevention, care, and treatment programs. We conduct vaccine and other infectious disease research. We partner with the Tanzania People's Defense Forces, and we provide comprehensive HIV prevention, care, and treatment to the civilians in the Southern Highland regions, as well as Tanzania's military populations. Henry Jackson Foundation Medical Research International, HGFMRI, is Walter Reed's implementing partner in the Southern Highlands. We operate civilian programs in five regions in the Southern Highlands, Bea, Rukwa, Katavi, Songwe, and Ruvuma. Our program goals are to provide HIV AIDS care and treatment services, reduce the overall HIV AIDS prevalence in our region, and increase HIV AIDS awareness and education. Through PEPFAR, HGFMRI has provided HIV counseling and testing services to, our over, to over 1 million Tanzanians and currently provides antiretroviral drugs to nearly 200,000 clients. We also provide many other health-related services and programs in the Southern Highlands. As part of our effort to reduce HIV AIDS prevalence, we provide voluntary medical male circumcision, both at static and mobile locations. Our clients are also offered cervical cancer screening and treatment, as well as tuberculosis testing and treatment. In research, we are working alongside the National Institute for Medical Research and the Mbeya Medical Research Center to conduct HIV and Ebola vaccine trials. We are also part of a 15-year-long cohort study known as AFRICOS that evaluates the impact of clinical, biological, and socio-behavioral issues on HIV infection and disease progression. Finally, we are empowering adolescent girls and young women through our DREAMS program, keeping our girls determined, resilient, empowered, AIDS-free, mentored, and safe from gender-based violence. So today we're celebrating the handover of three recently completed healthcare facilities, the Matema CTC, the Ipinda Reproductive and Child Care Healthcare Center, and the Mwambani CTC. At the Ipenda Healthcare Center, we are opening a newly renovated reproductive and child health center. And these services were formerly performed in just three rooms inside the outpatient department. Now at the Ipenda Healthcare Center, we're going to be able to serve these patients in a separate eight room facilities, offering more space and privacy and improved services. We're also opening a CTC at Mwambani Catholic Hospital in neighboring Sangwe region. Previously, Mwambani was providing treatment for its nearly 3,000 HIV positive patients in just three rooms, and with many of the services occurring on the veranda. So now the hospital will be able to serve these patients a new eight room building where patients will have much more privacy and individualized attention. So we're really happy about these new buildings and the fact that we are handing them over to our colleagues in the government of Tanzania and specifically to the people of Tanzania. So, Karabuni. <laughs>